What's up, Leo? It's Deb with Goddess of the Moon Tarot. I hope that you guys are doing well. I hope that this reading finds you safe. Shout out to my Soul Tribe members and also all of the new Soul Tribe members that have joined. I see you guys out there and I appreciate the love and support. Also, if you are new here and you've been resonating with the channel, please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share. Also hit the post notification bell before you leave, okay? All right, guys. So, grand rising. This is about this is the time that I'm doing it. it it's eight in the morning for me. Let's see what's going on, Leo. Okay, so we got medicine shield. Let's hope you guys can see the card. So, it says the meaning of the card. Shield your yourself from a harsh situation another's foul mouth is draining your energy step up your psychic protection visualize a circle of bright white light around you when others attempt to ridicule or speak down to you okay leo i feel like you've had this before because we have crystals at the right behind it yeah so that you can go towards your abundance okay what else do we have for our Leos? Also, if you are new here, please don't forget to check out my description box. I am open for personals now, guys. So check that out in the description box. And my Instagram link is down there so that you can follow me and catch my first looks, which are basically samples or snippets, I would say, of the video before it posts. Okay. Okay, what's going on, Leo? Okay. So now we have the Nine of Cups. So it's like you have to put this protection up so that you can get your wish. There's something that you ask for, something that you petition for, that you want the universe to grant you and basically you need to protect yourself so that you can receive that i feel like you must be putting yourself around the wrong people maybe i feel like i said the same reading last week let's see what's going on So, Leo, the first card is a Seven of Cups. Then we got the Queen of Swords. The Eight of Wands. I see that. The Magician. The Eight of Wands, the Ten of Wands, and the Fool. Okay, so the Seven of Cups, you know, when you see the Seven of Cups, it's basically an energy of someone that might be in an illusion or they might be confused or they just have a lot of different emotions going on okay this person possibly has a lot of connections that's why they're confused so like if this is a person that sleeps with multiple people they can have their energies are confused okay the queen of swords energy is someone who cuts cuts out energies and they also stand in their truth okay they know their truth they stand in their truth and nothing less than that so i feel like leo that might be you because we have the eight of wands here so it's like someone wants to speak to you someone wants to basically i feel like they want to try to manifest something because we got the magician right here 
So I'm not sure exactly what this person wants to manifest with you, but I feel like they want to manifest something with you. Then we got the Eight of Wands again. So it's like they're willing to come and go the distance to get this conversation going, to be able to, you know, say what they want to say. And then we got the Ten of Wands right here. So it, this is heavy on them. They have a lot of built up passion for whatever it is they want to speak. This person is willing to go down the journey. They're willing to take the leap of faith. Okay. Let's see. What's the Seven of Cups? Yeah, see? The King of Cups energy. This person really, in, inside of themselves, they feel like this is their connection, okay? Then we got the Six of Wands and the Judgment card. So... This is what's crazy about it. I feel like the cycle of whatever it is that has happened, I feel like Leo, because you're standing in victory, you're definitely looking like someone that someone will wanna have in their life. But because judgment has been caught on this situation for whatever it was that this person did, right? They're stuck having to be in their feelings, see? They got to wait. They're just been, they've been waiting for you to come through, but you're, you're leaving. Yeah. Okay. Now all the cards is all crazy because of my, okay. Let's see. What's the queen of swords? The justice card. The ace of cups. And the princess of this. Yeah. This person, this might be you, Leo. You feel like, basically, you have too much self-love to put yourself in a predicament of needing someone for whatever stability that you want in your life. Basically, you're willing to, you know, stand alone if you have to, but if you do have a partner, you want them to be in agreement with you. You see those two right there. Okay, that's why I feel like you have to say to this situation, this is justice. Yeah, see? The will of fortune. You you know that you're going in a different direction in the, the your cycle that you're going in now. You made a decision. Yep, wish fulfillment right underneath that too. Okay. What's the eight of wands? Yeah, so it's like you just want to be in this energy of having freedom, being able to explore, being able to ha just enjoy life. And if you're single, you want to enjoy being single. What's the magician? Mm, I figured that the devil... Okay, so we got Capricorn energy here. Somebody might have it in their chart, you or them. Um, but what I'm feeling is that this person's trying to manipulate something, you know, and that's why all this other energy was right here of them trying to say that they, you know, this is something that you need to reconsider, basically. Someone wants to manifest a new beginning in, in a way. I'm feeling like the Ace of Wands energy. But let's see, what's the Eight of Wands?
Yeah, they're waiting to communicate constantly. I mean, we didn't see this already, the three of wands. So this eight, this communication isn't happening. You probably had this person on block or you're just not answering answering them when they leave you a message. What's the ten of wands? Yep, here it comes again. Ten of cups. Yeah. <sighs> Leo, I know you probably don't want to hear this. Maybe you do, okay? But if you do, then this is something that someone really, really, really wants. I mean, the Nine of Cups, their wish. <laughs> They're obsessed, okay? They're obsessed with you, Leo. The Queen of Wands, that's you. Wow. They want to take a leap of faith with the Fool card. Yeah, they probably had to leave some situation that they're in right now because they want to have, even give and take, they feel like this would be justice. <laughs> okay, what's the full card? Okay, Queen of Diffs. Mm. We got the Eight of Cups. The Ace of Discs, Reverse. The Nine of Pentacles, Reverse. And the Nine of Swords, Reverse. So basically, what this person feels like, Leo, is that if they possibly leave a situation that they care about. I don't know what this person's got going on, but I feel like they have maybe a family that they have to leave, like mom, dad, or like, it could be, you know, they family that they created. But if this person leaves a situation to go towards you, they feel like they won't have to lose out on this Ace of Pentacles, the gift, because they see you as a gift. And also then you won't be single anymore. So this person doesn't want you to be single. This person, the queen of, of this is a um, a person that's married, okay? And then you won't have to have this anxiety. They won't have to have this. Well, you probably don't, but they do, okay? This anxiety that's bothering them and it's frustrating them. But I feel like you're blocking this energy. You don't want to hear anything about their apology. And you're standing firm in that, the Emperor card, standing against yourself from any energies that would come and try to argue or fight with you. That's what I'm seeing. All right. Let's get you guys a gem. And that's what you should do, if not, because it's protection that came out with the shamanic so you need to protect yourself from that energy all right let's get you a gym fossilized wood okay and number 14 so the message that this gives, it says, we live in a time where many events are mixed up. We must follow a par paradigm of projects in every aspect of life. And at times this creates stress and anxiety. Fossilized wood helps to ground us in daily life and to follow each task with calm and serenity. Every action, even the most vital and routine has a germ of sp spirituality within it. The power that it gives, it stimulates a holistic vision of life. It helps in terms of personal evolution and gives the patience and tenacity needed for facing problems. Okay, Leo, so I hope that this helps. If it did, please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share, hit the post notification list, and I will talk to you later. Deuces.